Hello, what is up? Last year during the 30th anniversary of the Game Boy, you know, because it was released in 1989, I unboxed this thing right here called the uh, G Pi case from uh, Retroflag, and I really love this. You know, they 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 really got the look of the old Game Boy, even up to the you know um double A batteries, but. Instead, the cartridge, the coolest thing is the cartridge takes a Raspberry Pi um, Zero and then it runs a rep Retro Pi. It can emulate, you know, things up to um, PS1, but PS1 and SNES, basically, even Game Boy Advance, the emulation is not hundred percent. But for the things that work here, you know, it's really, it's really very nice. You know, some of some of some of the stuff that like I want to play here, let's say SNES that doesn't work very well is, you know, um, Yoshi's Island, and then uh, for PS1 you have things like Tek Tekken Three is, uh, you have to turn on a uh, frame skip and then. Uh, you have things like Brother Blood Roar 2 is, is is unplayable even even without frame skip on, but still it can play like a lot of um you know the library of uh, of uh, PS1 and again it's it's very nice I keep on playing this uh, it's with me right but then like uh, mid middle of this year I believe like uh, July 2020 there's this company called the Experimental Pi that basically introduced a handheld that also looks like a Game Boy but instead of taking a a Raspberry Pi uh, zero like like this one right which is like uh, sort of the weakest uh, Raspberry Pi out there it can actually eat you know or it it actually takes in Raspberry Pi uh, 4 in fact there's like a I also have like an upcoming um, accessory for this one called the GPI mate that where you can put a compute module like up to uh, I believe CM3 plus so basically it can function it can run stop stuff that can be run by a Raspberry Pi um, 3B plus but still it's not powerful enough compared to you know Raspberry Pi 4 but uh, like I said, early this year, a company created a, a product that basically you put a Raspberry Pi 4 inside. And Raspberry Berry Pi 4 is the strongest uh, uh, Raspberry Pi in existence, you know. And so I, I got it. The, the, the problem is you have to wait for a very long time. So note that I ordered this uh August 5, 2020, this year. It arrived, so for context, I mean, I'm currently in South Africa, you know, I'm based in South Africa because I'm doing a postdoc in uh, particle physics. But anyway, um, the, the shipping basically took uh, from August uh, 5, uh, 2020, it arrived today, November 12, uh, 2020, right? And in fact, there are like some issues with the customs. I had to to pay some a little bit amount. But anyway, I have it right now, so we're gonna unbox it here. You, you There are like three tiers where you can take it. One one is I got I basically got the most expensive one because I don't want to buy extra Raspberry Pi 4 and you know assemble it myself. So I, I got the full the, the the fully assembled kit. So there there are like the three tiers. If you just get the casing, the, the it, it just looks like this, uh, but without the battery and the Raspberry Pi 4, you're paying I believe um ninety dollars and then hundred twenty for a casing with the battery and all those things, but without the Pi 4 and then everything else. I, it's a uh, hundred eighty, you know, and of course plus shipping on all those stuff. But I really, I really, I really want to support them because this, the, this is the first handheld, uh, mass-produced handheld that can accept, you know, um, Raspberry Pi four and Raspberry Pi four being like the strongest, around, like I said, Raspberry out there. It's gonna be, it's gonna be very cool and. One of the things that I want, uh, I like about this is it can play up to PSP and uh, Dreamcast. I do have my PS Vita right here where I do some of my emulations. I also have a new 3DS, you know, where, where I also do some emulations. But, you know, I, I, I really want a dedicated console because usually if I'm holding my B Vita, I usually pay, play Vita games. Or if I'm holding my 3DS, I usually play 3DS games. I don't do. So that's why I want a device that is uh that is uh specific to emulation you know that 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 when when i hold i want to play old uh, consoles so one of the things that i want is aside from a psp is the dreamcast you know i really love uh, shmups uh, bullet hell and there are a lot of uh, shmups on the dreamcast especially you know uh, ikaruga uh, zero gunner 2 uh, stuff like that but anyway yeah there's the package right here so there's like a some uh, bubble wrap uh some quick start guide uh, paper but let me take this off and then some you know uh, calculations and stuff like that but this is the magic right here okay this is like uh, this is like what what we want but um, just very quickly I'm trying to find Uh, 
sorry about that. So I was trying to find the uh, box for my Rust uh, Retro Flag GPI case. I, 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 I can't remember where I placed it, but I, I want to do a comparison. But anyway, this is the Experimental Pi. Pi Boy G DMG. You put Raspberry uh, Pi 4 inside. Of course, you can also put like uh, Pi 0, Pi 3, Pi 3B+. But why? You know, just put the, the strongest in there. So let's open this. Of course, it doesn't have like ROM and stuff. So it only has the the unit and the uh, the what do you call this the battery and the the Pi 4. So I still need to set up the software. So I, I can't like play this out of the box right away because you do have to put the back backups right there. So in the box you get this thing. Okay. So this is the box right here. And then we have so we all part this this way. So in here you have all the all the you know the accessories, a screwdriver. There's like a there's like a replacement L and R button if, if you think the 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 built-in one is, is is not protruding out enough. But for me it's fine. You know, like this one I didn't have any problem. I, in fact I play like vigilante here, uh, the in PS the PS1 game. It uses a lot of L, L and R, but I, I don't have problem with that. But yeah, you have uh, you have th this stuff right here. So the other uh, plastic accessories if ever you instead of pi 4 you place uh, uh pi 3 in there a a bag a pouch for it okay and it, it still has some stuff inside the pouch so a, a uh, charger okay usb charger because it, it charges via uh, uh this one a micro usb so you have it here but you have this pouch which of course you can you can see it right here you can also use it for the uh, GPI case, but you can see the GPI case is a smaller, so we're gonna do a size comparison later on. Here's your uh, how, how big is this? Uh, 4500, so 4500 uh, milliampere hours battery. So, again, as opposed to uh, the GPI case, it takes uh, double a battery, all right. And finally, the piece de response you know, the main piece is the Pi Boy itself on the uh, uh, some uh, uh, bubble wrap. So let's open the bubble wrap. And oh man! So they really they really get the texture, you know, of the original Game Boy. I, I don't have the original Game Boy with me, but you know, I I I played it a lot. I have one in the Philippines. That's that's where I live. But you can see the you can see the G Pi here. It's uh it's uh a lot smaller, like in terms of height, and of course the screen size. Obviously, this one I believe the resolution is six forty by uh three twenty. This one is uh half three uh, uh three twenty by uh two forty. I I believe yeah. But this this is a bigger screen and a bigger resolution. As you can see, it has a analog stick that looks like a a Nintendo Switch. Let me get my Switch right right here. So this is a weird Switch. It's a modded Switch. I also do some emulation here, but. Basically, it's running Linux, but yeah, anyway, maybe I can talk about that later, but it also has a, you know, the, the, the analog is very similar to a uh, Nintendo Switch. And so we have uh, six buttons instead of just the four in the GPI. Of course, the original Game Boy has only two A and B. And of course, at the back, like I said, it has the um, the L and R, you know. Yeah, the, the feel is the same. I'm, I'm used to it, so I think I think it's gonna work fine. And it's a bit it's a bit bigger. Usually, I push it with my middle middle finger instead of the instead of the forefinger because you know if it's the forefinger, it's, it's a bit cramped. So usually, I hold it this way, right? That's how I that's how I press it. But you know, you can now map like, for example, PS1 games that requires L L R L2 R2. You can now map those, two of those on the face button because the problem with a GPI, even though I can play PS1 here, is that uh, you need to, if you want L2 and R2 functionality, you need to hold Y and then press L for uh, uh, L2 and then Y plus R for uh, R2. You know, but here you don't you don't need to do that. Okay, but yeah, it's very it's very nice, man. The feel is the feel is very nice. The, the the analog it, it presses inward you know and again so you put the battery here again i'm not gonna set it up i'm gonna set it up off camera but you basically put the the battery right here and the the the, the magic the the very nice thing is of course you have here the brightness adjuster for the lcd you have here the ed headphone jack the micro usb and the volume adjust here but the magic 
for this one is you know it can play up to PSP and Dreamcast. You can basically connect it uh, to your TV using I have a TV right there. I'm gonna do that, but uh, using a a uh, mini uh, HDMI uh, connector right here. Okay, but yeah, so that's it, guys. So this is the this is the Rattle Flag and this is the Five Boy DMG. So again, this is just an unboxing. Inside you do have to open it, you know, in order to see that the 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 uh, Raspberry Pi four four is in there. In here, you only need to open the cartridge because the uh, Raspberry Pi Zero itself is inside this uh, cartridge right here. So that's, that's, the, that's the thing I like about this. You know, there's like a cartridge functionality and then there's like a double A, which, you know, very nostalgic. I still do it and I don't mind because my double A's are rechargeable, so it's fine. But this, it doesn't have the, you know, the, the cartridge and stuff, but it, it does have like a fun inside, some vents because it does get hot when you, especially when you're emulating higher end uh, consoles like PSP and Dreamcast. But yeah, that, that's it guys, the uh, comparison for my uh, G Pi case and the Pi Boy DMG right there. And again, I, I let me know if you, you know, if you want to see like setups and stuff like that. For the G Pi, I didn't, I didn't, I, you know, I, I'm a bit uh, lazy when doing videos. I'm just using my cell phone. But anyway, G Pi, I just, I just also unbox it right here, but I, I set it up and everything. It, it contains 128 gigabytes and it contains, you know, around 15,000 games, basically the entire history of uh, video game up to and including PS1. This is, is, is it will even be bigger because I, I, I'm planning on putting in here a 256. I believe the, the default is uh, uh, in here. The default uh, micro SD card is 64 gigabytes. But anyway, guys, that is the unboxing of the Pi Boy DMG. So, so if you do order right now, expect it to take a longer time, you know, to, to process. I don't know now, but early this year, it really took a while, of course, because of the pandemic and all those things. But anyway, here's a last uh, view. This is the unboxing of the Pi Boy DMG. I'm going to enjoy this. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye. See you next time.